Here's three reasons why I ultimately left my corporate job after all these years. One, I was going nowhere. Two, I was changing and the company was changing. And three, I had something better to go to. Jody here, coach and founder and CEO of Thumos USA, home of being better men and optimizing life. I want to spend just a few minutes with you here today to tell you about my story where I felt like I was pretty stuck in corporate America and ultimately took the leap of faith in order to do what I think I was called to do. Hopefully this helps a little bit for those that uh, may be asking yourselves, what do I want to be when I grow up, or what's my purpose, or what's next? Um, so hopefully if that's the case, this, uh, this can help you a little bit. So number one, I was going nowhere. Um, <clears throat> what happened to me, I'd been with my current company for 17 years, I'd been in the industry for 25, and most of that was overall good. Um, I made a very good living, um, took care of myself, my family, which is fantastic. So that, that's absolutely a blessing. But I'd also gotten fairly high up uh, within the company, another blessing, at a fairly young age. And by fairly young, I'm talking 36, 37. And in my case, I woke up one day and a decade had gone by. So I went from 37 to 47, and I had gotten um, just a farther and farther away from what I believe my true purpose, passion, calling, uh, and even having fun. I just got so far away from that. Um, it was one job and then another, um, and then that was a move um, to another state. Um, but I was just not in the right roles, multiple roles, and I tried to get back uh, a bit um, through, you know, our posting process to get another job in the company. It just didn't, it just didn't work out. Um, I believe God had another plan for me. Um, but I was going nowhere. Um, no promotions, no, you know, not much recognition. I know it's not all, all about that, not at all. Um, but for me, that was um, uh, one of the factors. Um, secondly, is um, I have changed and the company has absolutely changed. So look, in my 20s, I was a, I was a conservative man. In my 30s, conservative. At 49, uh, almost 50, I'm still a conservative man. I'd like, to see, I'd like to think I'm better than I was when I was in my 20s and 30s as far as more love, more light, more compassion, um, maybe announce more wisdom, I don't know, hopefully so. But uh, I've changed and so has the company. 10 years ago, the company very much aligned with my values, my priorities, and that felt good. And uh, today, uh, it's, it's, it's a little different. So uh, no need to get negative on this video about that. It is what it is. But uh, things changed. They changed, I changed, and uh, change is growth. Let's roll. Um, and thirdly, um, I had something better. Uh, during, when COVID started, uh, well, let's go back to about 15 years ago, um, I first started uh, sort of coaching and mentoring, really aimed at men at the time. And, uh, and all of a sudden, I found I was pretty good at it. And uh, I continued to sort of, uh, number one, become aware, like recognize the fact that I was pretty good at it. I call it discernment. Um, kind of seeing what a person needs and helping him or her get the aha, the insight, discernment. And uh, I just kind of went to work on it. Um, not, at it. Not thinking that it was work, but I loved it and I was pretty good at it. And so um, over time, I continued to develop that skill set. And so during the COVID time, um, I decided to, uh, to, to reach out and try to do more for men, uh, what I call like-minded men, guys kind of like me, stuck in corporate America, um, anywhere from, I don't know, 30 to 55, um, that have been through enough of life to have a couple of dings and bruises and whatnot, but uh, still open enough to want to be better, want to optimize life, unlock potential, make the best of life, and help each other along the way. Kind of a brotherhood and a mastermind group. Um, so I went to work with a, with, with a handful of uh, guys that really helped me out, and uh, we just put this community together. And of course, it looks like weekends, and it looks like an inner circle where we meet on Zoom, uh, which is fantastic. Both are fantastic. The weekends are incredible, life-changing. Um, and the, and the, 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 the community just continues to grow and thrive, and, and these men are changing and getting it, and their wives are, are giving us testimonies. They love what they're seeing. The, the community, by the way, is called Thumos USA. And uh, thumos is a Greek word for uh, spiritedness, passion, strength. It's kind of masculinity at its core. So um, put that uh, sort of business plan and that community uh, together back in, uh, in the COVID days, at least the start of COVID, and, uh, and just continue to work with these men and, re and refine my own sort of coaching and mentoring skills. And that's what I'm doing now as I'm growing this community and I'm also doing private and business coaching and, uh, and consulting. And I gotta tell you, so far I'm loving it. So with all that said, um, was leaving my 
17 year career with this one company behind an easy decision? Absolutely not. It was one of the hardest decisions I had ever made. I saw counsel, prayer, I got out of nature to try to quiet the mind and, and really get the clarity that, that I needed. And ultimately, I, I believe I got the answer, and that was, of course, to leave. And, and frankly, the, without the money being there, um, I tru truly believe it was that, an absolute step of faith. Um, yeah, I had a community started, um, but at the end of the day, the, the business, uh, I knew and still know that the business needs to grow, and it will grow, in order to get to where I need to be to, uh, to continue to provide you know, for this lifestyle and for my family and whatnot. So, with all that said, if, uh, if you're thinking about perhaps if you perhaps you're feeling stuck and you're thinking about you know maybe making a change maybe it's out of the business that you're currently in maybe it's out of corporate life or another job that you're just not happy with here's my thoughts on that for what it's worth number one no matter what you do it's going to be hard work um, what I'm doing now already feels a whole lot harder than the job I was in and um, just because it's it it's not all on me but a lot of this is on me there's no corporate structure to pick up the phone and call someone. For example, if I need IT support, my, it, it is what it is. It's, it's on me. Um, so that's number one. Number two, um, I got very clear on my mission, my vision, my passion in life, my, my God-given talents. Passion alone, and my belief, is not enough. Passion alone is the guy that wants to play in a band, but how good is he? And how's he going to make money doing that? Passion alone is a starving artist. Um, but passion plus competence in the form of perhaps even a subject matter expert with the right action, that's probably a pretty good formula and a good place to start. Um, number two, I started all this while I still had a job, still had pay coming in. Of course, I also got a severance package, which, which helped me a whole lot. I know a lot of people may not get that luxury, um, but I do recommend, you know, if, if one is, is, is the type, you know, personality risk-based to jump off a cliff, okay, as long as you can meet your responsibilities. Um, but if in doubt, I recommend, highly recommend that you start that next job, next gig. Hopefully it's aligned with your passion, purpose, talent, strengths, etc. Do that while you have a job. Um, so those are a couple things to consider. Um, in my case, I knew that I was not getting any younger. And what I'm doing at 50 is something that I hope to be passionate and good enough to where I can still be doing when I'm 70 or, or older. Um, it's kind of like the golf game. It's something I don't ever want to have to uh, give up um, as long as I'm able to do it. So that's a little insight as to, uh, as to my journey from corporate America to sort of coaching and consulting and the men's work with Dumos USA. Stay tuned and I'll keep you updated and let you know how it goes. Have a great day.